Look at this piece. It's four dollars. It reminds me of a set of fused glass coasters I have up on my website by Ver Visage Studios. I don't know though. Let's have a look and see if it's signed. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Just for a change today, I am taking you to a different Goodwill location. This is the one at Flamingo and Fort Apache, uh, a little bit south here in Las Vegas. I haven't been to this one in quite some time, so let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! Goodwill of Southern Nevada currently has 17 locations, not including their uh, Deja Vu boutique and their clearance center, what we call the bins. And I have some more exciting news. I was recently invited to the grand opening of another Goodwill store. It's going to be in the southwest uh, part of Las Vegas. So we will be attending the grand opening. I will bring you with me. Uh, so let's now go into this location and see what we can find. We'll grab a cart. That one's stuck. This one doesn't have a handle. <laughs> I've got my thrifting Vegas blanket and my reusable shopping bags at the ready. Goodwill does not know I'm here. They don't know I'm coming. They don't uh, hold anything back or put anything out specially for me. I am shopping alongside just like any other uh, customer as you can see here so let's uh, dig into the hard goods and see what we can find the first thing that's catching my eye is this beautiful mustard colored pitcher down here it's hand painted possibly portuguese oh it's bobby flay cbf bobby flay it's 12.99 and it's quite crazed does have a chip on the rim on the spout there so we'll leave that it's another european style bowl here that's ever so heavy and it is, it's a contemporary piece. Let's see. What else? This is a pretty bowl. Again, some damage. Again, contemporary and uh, modern with a little bit of damage. So we'll leave that as well. Here is some wall decor. It's across $8 on that one. That just won't work for me for resale, although I like it. I am not deterred. Let's keep going. That guy's damaged. Oh, look at this. It's a little fox. Foxes always do really, really well for me. He has no damage. He's $3. He's a vase. I love the unfinished with the finished ceramic. So we'll get him. Some glass back here. Let's see. That tiger cup has some damage again. Some chips. These are pretty. They're Pimpernel. Always a great brand. Made in England. Cork backed coasters. They're $5, but purple is the color of the day. So half off. There is the Pimpernel sticker. Those will go in the cart with our fox. Let's keep going. This is lovely. It's jungle print, a ruffled vase. $10 though, and that's just a bit much for me for resale. I do like this lady. She has a little heart that says grandma. She's pink and yellow, only $4. She's Hallmark, the Omura collection. Let's definitely pop her into our cart. Some lacquered bowls, little saucer, a bank and frame, collector plates, 
stocking holders. Oh, look at this. This is glass. I don't think it's crystal. It's a candle holder missing its stand though. It has nothing to rest in. I like the mosaic of this box, but sadly the edge is damaged. This is massive <laughs> inlaid shell. Sadly, now that I don't have my booth and the good stuff, uh, I don't have a need for large pieces. Many of you have been asking what uh, is happening to all my inventory at the good stuff. Oh, squirrel, here's Thomas. Thomas the train or Thomas the tank engine if you are in England. He is a bank. I'm going to pop him in the cart as well and uh, check recent sales on eBay. Here's grandma and she goes. Up here we have some amber glass that looks like Blanco, but I don't think it is. They're asking $13 on that. I love this wall decor cross. Several of you collect wall crosses. It's purple tag, half off, $5. So let's pop that carefully into the cart. What else do we have? There's a pear here, $8 on that. Lovely elephant bowl. Look at this, hand painted. It's gorgeous. Sadly, another piece, $8. Too much for me for resale. So we'll leave it for somebody else. Back to my inventory now that the Good Stuff store has closed and I no longer have my vintage booth. All of uh, my inventory is going to be posted on my new website, thriftingvegas.com. I'll put it on the screen um, so you can hop over and take a look at that. Very excited. That is going to be where you can find find a lot of the inventory you see me thrift this is nice it looks like the very hungry caterpillar again hallmark it is a bank that is gorgeous lovely colors but 15 dollars on that i am so sad we'll have to leave that on the shelf but hopefully somebody else will come by and buy it here's a frog not sure what he is, but he has some chips and damage quite sharp on that. I'm not sure whether that should be on the shelf. I'll perhaps tell somebody it could be dangerous. Let's see what we have. A massive vase. I love the texture on that. $8. Uh, we have a little Yorkie collector plate. Tea light holder. This is gorgeous. Bavarian, I think. Uh, be careful of these plate hangers. When you remove them or put them on, it's very easy to chip old porcelain. Here is, looks like an antler. It's a candle holder. What else do we have? Serveware and platters, some clear glass, lovely bowls down here. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Here's a paperweight. That behind there is not a glassy baby candle holder. <laughs> Here's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet, a little gift box. What else can we find? More clear glass up here. This looks like terracotta, but it's very lightweight. Probably Target dollar spot or something similar. There's a tray up here. Just a bit broken that. Here is the candle and candle holder section. I'm always excited to look through these because you never know what you're going to find. This one is a desert scene. I love the colors. It's $6 and it's all candle though. It's not glass on the outside. A bit worse for wear, so we'll leave that. Two shall become one. That looks like a wedding um, candle luminary. Got some candle sticks and stands. A couple of vases there. These are modern, green and blue. They probably came in a set of three or four colors, those. Some fishy candles in the packet. A mask. Oh, look at this. 
This is a stack of fairy tale books. It looks like a display. $15 though. It looks like you'd put little figurines on each of the books there. I'll have to leave that for somebody else. We have jumped over to the kitcheny bits. I love the green on this dish. I think it's for olives or cheese and crackers, chips and dips. Sadly, it has a little blemish on the edge there, a little chip, so we'll leave it. Pedestal bowl, lots of glass, bottles and jars. Pottery bowl here. That looks to be part of a set. Mass produced, not artisan. This, on the other hand, is gorgeous. $3. It's bisque. Really beautifully decorated. Very delicate. Could be a vase or a candle holder. I would venture to say that it lights up inside when there's a candle in it. Vintage bowl here. And some stained glass. That's interesting. It's a shame there is nothing to hang it with, though. You'd have to put it on a stand. Little lidded jars here. I think those are modern. They don't have an antique or vintage feel to them. What else can we find? We've got a lidded pumpkin jar here. We could put dip or sugar in that for Halloween and Thanksgiving. Nesting bowls, sadly, massive chip on there. Sugar bowls, creamers and canisters up on this shelf. Glass bowl here. Sadly, those don't sell so well for me. Oh, I want to show you this. FTD, you're probably familiar with this florist's company. Florist Transworld Delivery. I've been around a long, long time. Sadly, pieces don't sell so well. Look at this. A birdhouse. It's Ray Dunn. It's an acorn. It says love on it. I love these when they have the stopper so you can pull out all the old nesting material. We'll definitely grab that. There are some people around me at the moment, so I'm trying to get the pieces that I know I want safely into my cart. Look at this cow. $10 on that. Bit too much for resale, which is a shame because I do like that piece a lot. This bowl looks like it's leather. I want to say that those are quite plentiful on eBay. Not many sold. Patriotic bowl. Again, a bit too much for me for resale on that. What else can we find? Aha, I see something on this shelf down here that I'm going to grab. Another birdhouse. This is so cute. It says tweet again with the stopper. Absolutely love these in lovely condition. It is $10, but I can't leave that behind. Let's find a safe spot right there. There we go. I can't believe I found two Ray Dunn birdhouses. I always say, <laughs> if you find one or something, look around. There may be another here I go, matching things up. If you know me, you know I have to put sets together nice and neatly. <laughs> Here's a gravy boat. This is fixed to its tray here. Oh, look, an art heart. These are fabulous. Oh, no, it's all damaged and ripped off. That is such a shame. Oh, I hope they didn't put the price sticker on there to cause that. Really, really sad when that happens. There's a bell. What else? Ooh, that's dangerous. A broken piece here. One more thing for me to uh, tell somebody about that and that frog we saw. We wouldn't want any little fingers or big fingers getting cut. Olive platter. Looks like an older piece as well. This is lovely. Oh, not as old as I thought. Nevertheless, it is very, very, very pretty antique style. What? I love the pattern on this old decanter. Sadly, this isn't the correct stopper. The original one was square, like the decanter, flat and square. Here's a divided glass dish. Oh, look, a blue ball jar, sadly missing its lid, but I think I might just have 
one of these leads in my inventory. It might be too small, but I'm going to grab the jar anyway, because I think I can sell it with or without the lid. Let's keep going. Butter dish there. Pyrex jug. Here's another of those opalescent swirly pieces. $6 on that one. More bowls and dishes down here. Here is a decanter from the M Casino and Hotel here in Vegas. That's pretty. We're in the Christmas section and there's two things right next to each other that I absolutely have to have. The first is this snowman with his plunger. He's a hallmark piece and fingers crossed if he's working, <laughs> he actually sings Jolly in the John. He's $2 worth every penny because I think if he works, he's around a $50 piece. Right next to it is this. This is part of the set, the polka dot and bow mug and plate set that many of you purchased from me and several of you are looking for the cookie jar here it is <laughs> the first person to email me will get that for their set how exciting and up here is another interesting thing this is avon i think this is the light up popcorn snowman we'll have to have a look Oh my goodness, he even has the base. He looks to be in good condition. There's the base. Last step is to plug it in to see if it works. We'll pop him back in there and uh, test him in a little while. This aisle was really busy earlier, but we are back here. The wood and frames, plaques and signs. Having a look to see what they have. Got a bowl here. It's quite a nice console bowl or fruit bowl. It is modern though. Let's see. Souvenir. Mug of Puerto Rico. Owl. Little hooks. I think that is just made to look old. Sweet little birds. Oh, look at this bowl. This looks like olive wood. Look at the grain of that. This could really use some mineral oil. It's only $2. I think it would come up beautifully and be perfect for trinkets or change or jewelry. Let's pop that into our cart. There is a giraffe mask there. Let's see, he isn't old. I think he is perhaps a cost plus piece. World market maybe, that's fun. Little uh, note board there, quite heavy though. Not good for shipping, would have been good for the booth. We are in the vases, planters and florals. All sorts of colored glass. Oh, look at this. Lovely vintage piece. I don't know if you can see the optic swirl. It's beautiful. Really unique shape. It almost looks like a bulb forcer. It is $6, but I think we'll have to take that home with us. Here's a little picture, a little ewer. The uh, flowers are sadly broken. Oh my goodness, look. This matches the other piece like this we found in the kitcheny bits. I think they're candle holders. I'll just put this vase in there. I can't wait to pop a candle in those two and see how they look all lit up. Here's a horse head, $8 on that guy. More glass divided dishes. That's quite pretty. I love the colors. Look at this piece. It's $4. It reminds me of a set of fused glass coasters I have up on my website by Ver Visage Studios. I don't know though. Let's have a look and see if it's signed. It is signed. Ruez. I don't think that has anything to do with their visage. That's Christine and Jim Freeburn, but it is a gorgeous piece. 
lots more glass over here we've got vases and bowls oh back there are two candlesticks they're hand painted and they're actually lennox they're beautiful pieces unfortunately goodwill has them marked at 13 dollars which is just a bit too much for me for resale but hopefully someone will come along and give them a great new home because they are beautiful for spring and easter these are great they are candlesticks one way vases the other they're um, actually avon uh, made by fostoria i believe hearts and diamonds what else do we have here we are here in the lamp section i'm very excited because i found two things that i love the first is this piece it looks like art glass it's a purple swirl but it's a lamp and the second piece is this vintage carved wood an African bust of a lady look at that plug it's so vintage with a bit of mineral oil she will be beautiful and she's only eight dollars I can't believe it <laughs> We are in the glasses and tumblers aisle and I found a uh, snack set by Federal Glass. It's absolutely lovely. Sadly, they don't sell for much. So let's move on and keep going. Oh, look back here at this beautiful sugar set. Oh my goodness, it's a lidded sugar bowl with handles and it is Wedgwood. It's their grape and grape leaves pattern. I'm sad that I can't see a matching creamer off the bat. The uh, sugar bowl is six dollars which is fine. That's going right in the cart. Let's scan these shelves on the off chance that the creamer might be here as well. I'm not seeing it. When I'm doing this, I'm looking for a pop of white, right? Because that's uh, what the sugar bowl looks like. I'm just seeing mugs here amongst the glasses. I don't think we'll be lucky today, but that's all right because by itself, the sugar bowl is still worth getting. I do like these tumblers. I think they are mass produced. Uh, and unfortunately, $6 a piece. I'm seeing them dotted around the shelves here. These hand-painted glasses were popular in the 90s and early 2000s. Sadly, this one looks like it's been through the dishwasher. Don't put your serveware in the dishwasher. They're restocking the shelves and I literally fell over myself to get to this. This is a beautiful Fenton ruffled bowl. It is $12.99, but uh, <laughs> these are really, really hard to find in this size. And it looks like it's in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. I can't believe it. Let's see what else they've put out. There's some... A mosaic animals here let's see some candlesticks these are pretty Seymour man blue onion pattern sadly they only sell for about 15 to 20 so we'll leave them for somebody else we have our popcorn snowman at goodwill's electronic testing station Oh, I'm just noticing that the button, the switch there is missing on the lighted base. That doesn't look good. Uh, let's plug it in and see. Light goes on. We'll make sure the dial is past zero there. Uh, nothing is happening. Let's check the bulbs. Oh, it does not look good. What a shame. Well, let me show you. The snowman goes onto the base like that. Uh, it's supposed to rotate and change light colors as it goes. That's going to be staying on the shelf. Let's take a stroll through the small picture frames and artwork. There's quite a lot to see here. I'm trying to pan slowly through. Lots of frames. Oh, look at this. 
This is a tile. It looks Italian or Greek. Let's have a look. Oh, it's signed. It is Italian, Salerno, Italy. It's gorgeous. Look at those colors. That's going straight into the cart. Now, something like this, do keep looking because they're often sold in sets or pairs. It's a saxophone there, little uh, stitchery. Ooh, what's this? This looks vintage, vintage frame. It is uh, signed and numbered there. Really sweet little animals. Let's grab that. Not seeing any more of the tiles as I look, unfortunately. So let's move on to the larger pieces to see what we can find. I'm looking for vintage frames. This is somebody's project, I think. A bit worse for wear. Lots of contemporary pieces, model home artwork, as I call it. I do like the safari elephant. It's one of my favorite pieces. He is a bit scratched up, sadly. Let's see. Superheroes. It's a lovely uh, Christmas light water piece. Just checking the shelves for a second at time and I'm glad I did. Look at this fellow. <laughs> Golfing is a really popular subject matter and these uh, nuts and bolts metal creations sell very, very well for me. I love this guy. Let's pop him into our cart. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill, as well as a few pieces I wanted to make available uh, for you to purchase. Let's start over here with the first find of the day, our beautiful wall cross. It's made of metal. That's the back. I think it is painted um, wrought iron or cast iron was painted brown and then aged with some silver on the front. It's absolutely lovely, quite heavy. It would look really, really nice on um, an outdoor wall. I know some of you have uh, a wall dedicated to crosses. It was $9.99, but purple was half off uh, today, so it was $5. I am going to ask $24. Next, we found our set of Pimpernel uh, coasters. Unfortunately, as you can see, it appears that some of them have been in the sun. These two, I think, are um, the colors they're supposed to be, and the other three are a little bit yellowed. Fortunately, I only paid $2.50 for the set. Um, they definitely have a vintage look if that's what you're after. And um, here's an idea. You could just use a couple of them and uh, put candles or little figurines on each one. So if um, anyone is interested in those, I paid $2.50. I am going to ask $10 for the set. Next, we have our two little figurines. The first is this foxy gentleman. He is uh, glazed ceramic and um, unglazed, a mixture of both. I love that look. Really, really nice. Almost a cottage core look. I paid $3 for him. He is a vase, as you can see. Uh, and I am going to ask $22. Next, our little hallmark piece from the Omura collection. I believe Omura means uh, village in Japanese. Correct me if I am wrong. Uh, again, $4 on this little lady, and I am going to ask $18. I have been in search for one of these for quite some time. This is the cookie jar that matches the bows and polka dot 
um, mugs and plates that so many of you have purchased from me. They're really only available in Vegas or popular in Vegas because they were a giveaway um, from one of the casinos for their high rollers. Cookie jar, it's in perfect condition, no chips or cracks. I did pay up for it, I paid $15 for it. Uh, and I am going to ask $35 on that. Next, we have these lovely treasures. They are Ray Dunn birdhouses. They both have a little stopper that allows you to clean out the old nesting material every year. This one is an acorn. As you can see, it says love. $8 on that one. This one is a gorgeous house. Tweet again. Ooh, it's quite heavy. There is the stopper. This one I paid uh, $10 on. And these I am going to ask at $24 a piece. I was so excited to put the candles in uh, these beautiful bisque holders. Look at the lovely pattern and texture on these. Just gorgeous. They're uh, flameless candles inside as you can see and they just glow with such a beautiful warm glow. Let's see what did I pay for these. We found one in the kitcheny bits and one in the vases as you remember. Three dollars a piece on these. I will include these little uh, flameless lights um, in the purchase price and I am going to ask $20 a piece on these. Over here we have our ball ideal jar and based on the font I, I want to say this is 1920s to 1930s and unfortunately, as we saw, it's missing its wire and lid. But as I did mention in the video, I have a lid that I found at uh, the Deseret Industries, I believe the one um, up in Utah from my uh, Navajo Lake fishing trip video. Now, I thought it was going to be too small, but in actual fact, it fits perfectly. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> $3 on the um, lid, which is more than I paid for the jar at $2. This doesn't have a date on it. I think it was uh, uh, last year sometime, probably June, because we went fishing. Um, I don't know about the wire. If you wanted to use it for display purposes, it looks gorgeous. Now, I will tell you the lid is a slightly different shade to the jar. But in my research, I found that that is quite normal, actually, um, that there's a little difference in, in color on the two pieces. So that, um, that's quite normal. So both pieces, $5 I paid, and I am going to ask $20 on the jar with the lid. Next, we have this lovely vintage uh, amethyst vase. It has the optic swirl, as you can see. Just gorgeous. You could even use it for a bulb. If you set your bulb in there and fill this with water, it will root, as will an avocado. Uh, so that's really fun. I paid up for this one, $6. I am going to ask 24 on that. Over here... I, <laughs> I literally almost fell over myself to get to this piece. Uh, they were restocking the shelves. They just put it out. This is an amazing uh, Fenton white hobnail pedestal dish with the ruffle, as you see. Amazingly, it has absolutely no damage. It's in perfect, perfect shape. Um, it does not have a Fenton mark. It, that leads me to believe it's an older piece that had uh, a sticker instead. But um, I paid up for this one, $12.99 on this. I am going to ask $45. Since I found the Fenton White Hobnail, I thought I would bring out a couple more pieces of hobnail that I have. This is 
one of the small um, rose bowl vases. It looks absolutely gorgeous with a rose stem, rosebud, uh, cut short and leaning out of each of the little ruffles here. Again, beautiful piece, perfect shape. This one actually does have the Fenton mark on the bottom. As you can see, Fenton in the oval. And this is uh, one I've had on display in my home. Time for it to move along. I am going to ask uh, $22 on this piece. One more Fenton hobnail. This piece has a little of the moon moonstone glow here, as you see, the blue around the edge. It is a saucer. I don't have the cut, but here's a fun trick. If you use it this way up, not only can you see the hobnail and the blue um, accent around the edge, but you can use it as a pedestal or a candle holder for a treasure like so. I popped a bluebird of happiness on there. Um, this one is signed, it's uh, William Ward, 1992. These are harder to find than the Leo Ward ones. He is, I'd say he's the medium size. His beak is intact, no chips, no cracks. I am going to ask 28 on the bird and uh, 18 on the, let's call it a stand. Over here is our Wedgwood piece. This is a covered sugar bowl. It's the grape and grape leaves pattern. Uh, as you see, it is Wedgwood of Etruria and Barliston, made in England, embossed Queensway. Now this came in a set with a, a teapot and a creamer and I believe teacups and saucers which sadly were nowhere to be found and they might they might put them out at a later date you never know I paid six dollars on this piece and I am going to ask thirty five dollars let's take a look at this piece it has a couple of bear hairs on it those are this is a vintage uh, signed piece as you see sweet little animals little patchwork uh, is that a unicorn so lovely with a bunny and a frog and a mouse just adorable friends are for hugging this is uh, 1527 of 7,500, definitely vintage. You can see by the frame, little staples in there. I paid $4 for it, and I am going to ask $18. While we're looking at this, I pulled out another piece from my inventory, quite similar. I had a feeling it might be the same artist, but I was wrong. This one is M. Mason, little rocking horse with a toy chest, looks to be hand painted. Really, really fun. Uh, this one I am asking $24. Let's take a look at these two pieces. I absolutely love this tile. It has such a Mediterranean feel to it. It is signed and marked. Rialioni? Uh, Riazioni? Luciano, Salerno, Italy. It has a hook for hanging. It does have a teeny, teeny tiny chip right at the top there. Barely noticeable, actually, I could probably give that a quick repair without too much trouble. But it is gorgeous. It has intentional crazing on the little houses, beautiful, vivid, vibrant colors on that, a little boat and houses in the night sky. $3 on that, I'm going to ask $24. Next is the piece that I thought might be Ver Visage uh, Studio Glass, Jim and Christine Freeburn. 
It actually is not. It's signed Ruez. And I have not been able to find um, additional pieces by this artist. So if anybody is familiar with this style, signed Ruez, please do leave me a comment. It's gorgeous fused glass. As you can see, there's little iridescent um, pieces added. Really, really fun. You could use this as a trinket tray, a candle stand, whatever you'd like. I paid $4 for it. I am going to ask $28. I love wood, as you know. This bowl, I believe, is olive wood. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous grain to it, and I'm excited because uh, after the haul, I am going to apply, we together are going to apply some food safe mineral oil to this bowl and see if we can restore it to its natural beauty it's very dried out nevada is extremely hot and dry as you probably know and uh, really hard on wood pieces so you have to be careful to moisturize them frequently with um, in this case food safe mineral oil because i think this is a little nut bowl uh, i paid a couple of dollars for it and fully restored, I will be asking $14. Let's move over here. The last piece we found together was this fellow. He is a golfer. He's made out of odds and ends of metal, little nuts and bolts and pieces put together here. He's really, really fun. Absolutely love these and they sell quite well for me. I paid up a bit. I've moved around to the back side of my table to show you the purple lamp we found. It's made of glass and it has little striations to uh, make it look like agate or rock. It uh, is satin at the top and bottom and the stripe around is polished glass. It has a little night light or almost a Christmas uh, bulb inside that I added and which will come with the lamp so let's take a second here and I will turn it on look how beautifully the light comes through the purple glass it's absolutely stunning it's a really soft pretty light as you can see all different shades of purple. I paid $7 for this and I am going to ask $32. Over here we have our beautiful wooden African lady lamp. She is in fine working order. I have tested her. She's absolutely lovely. And I found these in the hundreds of dollars uh, online. I'll pop a picture in here for you. Yeah, as you can see, she I believe she's antique. The cord comes out under her chin here. There's the bottom. I paid $8 on this girl and I'm do still doing some research. Um, to see what a reasonable asking price would be. But if you have interest in her, do send me an email and an offer. Uh, I would be happy to consider. Moving back around the front, there are a few pieces I have brought out to show you based on uh, folks asking for birds. And we're getting close to Valentine's and Easter. So here are um, a couple of pieces for those of you who like to get an early start. First, we have an Armado Pena tile um, on a cookbook book stand here. This is my uh, favorite stand for displaying uh, tiles. It works really, really well. This tile, I don't think I still know. It doesn't have a price on it. 
It has a hook for hanging if you prefer. Made in USA. And I am asking 22 on the tile. Here's the cookbook stand. <laughs> If you have interest in the stand, I am willing to sell that. It would be $20. Let's move over here. We have a bluebird of happiness. I already showed you him. Uh, w. Ward, 1992. Asking price, I believe, 28 I said. Here is an Avon Canary. This originally hold, held, held cologne, but I think he's absolutely gorgeous. As part of a spring display, he is $12. We have a, um, I believe this is Indiana, Indiana glass. It's a rabbit votive candle holder, perfect for Easter. This guy is $12. And over here, a couple of bisque ceramic eggs. This one, I believe, is transferware. It is a cardinal bird with flowers. It's not marked. I'm going to ask 22 on this piece. This is hand painted and signed with wildflowers and a little bumblebee and a butterfly. It says, Love to Kelly T. $3.99. This person did an amazing job of painting the flowers. And again, $22 on that. Last but not least, a little tray perfect for Valentine's Day. If you're giving jewelry, it would be the perfect presentation for a bracelet or a necklace. This is by Otagiri. Little roses with a wreath. There is the mark. I am asking $18 on that piece. Look at this duck planter. He's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Super duper long eyelashes. Look at those. He is a little bit crazed all over. Don't know if you can see that. To me, that just adds to his appeal and character. Sadly, he's not signed, but he does have a little mark. It looks like a little duck footprint there. Otherwise, no chips, no cracks, just beautifully done. I am asking $18 on him. I almost forgot to bring this guy out and I had to keep him in a box because <laughs> He is motion activated with no on off switch. So whenever <laughs> never mind. Whenever you move Pull up a seat and make yourself comfy. Whenever you move, he talks. You <laughs> you put him in a bathroom. He's called Jolly in the John. And as I said, he's motion activated. So when if I do you that need any presents wrapped, I've got <laughs> he says several different phrases. Are you okay? You look a bit flushed. Get it? <laughs> flushed? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, as you can tell, he's super fun for the holidays. Oh, oh, oh. Who's gotta go? He's ho, ho, ho. Who's gotta go? Here in the bathroom. Don't mind me. I'm here to keep you company. So let's. What you doing? On second thought? Never mind. <laughs> Online, he goes for $50 and up. <laughs> I am asking $35. Please stay tuned. I'm going to have, as promised, our uh, oiling of this bowl. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. And I will see you next time. Bye. As promised, together we are going to use some Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner 
food grade mineral oil to bring this lovely bowl back to life. It's very, very easy. All you're going to do is put just a little bit of the mineral oil on the bowl. And then I just use my fingers to apply it and rub it in. Now, as you can see, the bowl is already changing color. Let's just do a little bit on this side as well. And then I will rub it in and show you how it looks when all the oil has been absorbed. This piece might take a couple of coats, but you can see it changing color here already. So let me give it a good soak and I'll show you the finished product. Look at the difference in this piece. The oil has soaked in and the wood grain is just vibrant now. Look at the contrast. It's absolutely gorgeous. Such a lovely piece. It's very interesting. It has grain and knots and swirls on the inside. And this Howard's Butcher Block Conditioner Food Grade Mineral Oil is such a great product. Uh, I will pop a link in the description of this video. Uh, it's amazing. You can use it on cutting boards, any um, bowls that you use for food service, actually anything at all. It doesn't have to be um, for food service. Ornaments, carved wood, clocks, anything you have that is wood, um, this does an amazing job on. As I mentioned during the video, I have launched a new platform from which to sell my thrifted treasures. It's thriftingvegas.com. Very easy to remember and very easy to get to. Using the tabs at the top of the page, you can view and purchase thrifted treasures, learn a little bit about me, Contact me via email and sign up for my email mailing list. You can even access my YouTube channel. I love making thrifting videos for you. Going to Goodwill, searching for discarded treasures, showing you what I find and making things available for you to purchase online and give a new forever home to. In recent months I haven't been very good about releasing the two videos a week I promised. I owe you an apology and an explanation. If you watch my channel you know my mum. She gave me my wonderful Thrifting Vegas blanket that you see in almost every video. She thrifted it and had it embroidered, especially for me. In recent months, Mum hasn't been well. She hasn't been well, but she didn't want anyone to know, and she soldiered on like a trooper. Last week she was admitted to Hogue Hospital in Newport Beach, California and I drove from Vegas to Southern California to be with her. For four days, four days and four nights my dad and I stayed with her. And last Sunday morning, we lost my mom. Thank you all for your kindness and your patience with me. And I know you're all so wonderful that you're going to ask mm -hmm. if there's anything <laughs> you can do. Bear is here. Bear and Rio and the cats have been so comforting as animals are. My mum didn't want a funeral 
of fuss, so flowers. She loved us with all her heart and she also loved animals. Every month she would donate to her favorite charities and she would often, as often as she could, take used blankets and sheets to the Huntington Beach uh, Wildlife Sanctuary and Rescue. I've set up a GoFundMe, an online uh, donation site in my mum's honour. Every penny that you give will go to help animals in need. These are the groups she supported and it would mean the world to me if we could continue mum's donation and help them do their amazing work. Please give if you are able. I'm going to put a link in the description of the video. I'm sorry that my videos have been inconsistent lately and if you'll bear with me a little while longer so our family can heal together. I promise I will be better for you and released my two videos a week as promised. Hi, we. You want to go get the ball? Bear's got three, look. Shh. What you got, Bear? Mm -hmm. You got the balls? Mm -hmm. Is she trying to take one? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you can see, he's got two in his mouth, guarding the third one. <laughs> he says, allow me to demonstrate, and he won't let me have them. <laughs> You're a big thug. Yes, you are. Bear. Bear. Can I have it? Can I have it? <laughs> He's talking to Rio, telling her that she can't have the ball. She's got one in her mouth. Rio! Can I have it? <laughs> Mad <laughs> scramble. You ready, Bear? Ready? <laughs> Good job, Bear. Leave it. Good boy.
this is going to be so much fun. I'm here at Goodwill, but I'm not alone. <laughs> my oh. mum and my daughter, Miley, are with us. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what are we going to look for today? <laughs> uh, Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Cut. I was not prepared for that.